Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Today, we are talking about Unit 3, which is entitled, What's on Your Plate? Let's see what you should have in your plate. In your plate, you should have vitamins. What are the vitamins? They are a group of organic compounds which are essential for normal growth and nutrition. What do we mean by that? This means that the vitamins that we gain from the food we eat are very important for the growth of our body. And it helps us to get the energy we need in it. Next, we have nutrients. As you remember, we said before what are the nutrients. They are like the vitamins that we uh, gain from eating specific kinds of vegetables and fruits and meat and uh, chicken and fish and all kinds of food we get our nutrients that help us to grow from it next balance what do we mean by the balance equal portions of needed nutrients to the body it means that your body needs the balance of proteins, calcium, vitamins, okay? You don't, uh, or you, you shouldn't eat one kind of food, like keep eating meat, or keep eating fish, or keep eating chicken, or just keep eating fruits only, even. One kind is not enough for our body. We need to balance them to have balanced quantities of each type of food. Next, minerals. What do we mean by minerals? They are chemicals that your body need to stay healthy. And we can find minerals in many kinds of food and in water also. Next. Fiber. Fibers are parts of food that are not digested. They are kept inside your body. So they are important in a healthy diet. When you are on a specific diet, Diet, diet means eating specific kinds of food, not only losing weight. It means that you eat healthy food, okay? The fibers in these uh, food, they are not digested and your body uh, gets benefited from it. Next, energy. What do we mean by energy? It's the power that the body gets from food digestion. When you eat healthy food for sure, your body digested it. We know this. After the digestion of food, your body feels better and feels energetic. And uh, you feel that you can move and you can do your work. This is the energy, which is the power you need to do actions. Next we have the fat. What are the fat? The fat are the substance under the skin of humans and animals that stores energy and keeps them warm. Fat are the parts or things we can find in the food that gives us a little bit weight and for sure gaining weight is not bad all the time 
because these fat, as you can see, they store the energy. They keep the energy inside them. So if you are skinny or super thin, you don't have fat in your body, you will feel always weak and you can't do anything and you can't finish your, uh, your work because you don't have the fat that stores energy. Next. Carbohydrates. What are the carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are, ki are kinds of food which we can find in sugar, starch, and fiber. And we can find them in fruits, grains, vegetables, and milk. What are the grains? Like the beans and uh, the things that you need uh, always to eat and the potatoes and the bread all these things contain carbohydrates which are very important for your power and for your energy next protein the protein are substances found in food such as meat cheese or eggs that is necessary for the body to grow and be strong we can find the proteins mainly in eggs, fish, chicken, and meat. These are the main sources of protein that we eat most of the time. Next, dehydrated. What do we mean by dehydrated? With little amount of water. When you feel thirsty, for sure you are dehydrated. When you feel your skin dry and uh, and it's uh, maybe sometimes hurting you because of its dryness you must know that you are now dehydrated you need to drink excess of water extra water because your body need hydrated means combined with water means you drank the good amount of water during the day that keeps you um, energetic and powerful next joints what are the joints they are the areas between two or more bones when you find two bones in your body they are connected to each other you must know that they are connected by something which is called the joint. And as you can see, joint comes from the word join, which means it joins the bones together. Joints. Sweat. What do we mean by sweat? It's the excess water that comes out on the skin's surface to cool it down. When you run, or when you uh, walk for a long time under the sun or in hot weather, you will sweat. What do we mean by sweat? The extra water will get out of your body over your skin. Next, toxins. What do we mean by toxins? Poisonous substance, especially one produced by bacteria, that causes disease. So, toxins are poison. Toxins are poison. Okay? And uh, poison, uh, it's, it doesn't only mean the poison of the snake or these things. Sometimes you eat uh, some kinds of food which are toxins, which may hurt you. And uh, uh, it you will feel stomach ache and you will feel pain all over because of the toxins. Next, temperature. It's the degree of hotness or coolness. It is hot or cold. This is the temperature. Or the amount of heat in a place or in a body. When I measure your temperature, I want to know the degree of, your, of hotness or of heat of your body. Next, calories. 
What do we mean by calories? It's a unit of energy often used to measure the amount of energy that food provides. What does that mean? If you held a chocolate bar or biscuit or whatever, you are going to find at the back of it written, for example, 100 calories per piece. 100 calories per piece. This means when you eat 100, 100 grams or a piece of it, you are going to gain 100 calories. And these are the units of energy that your body takes. And the calories, sometimes we use them if somebody is overweight or uh, needs to lose some of his or her weight. They eat food with specific number of calories to keep their body on a good track. Next, calcium. What is a calcium? Calcium is a mineral found mainly in the bones. Your bones need calcium to grow and to stay strong. We can find calcium uh, in milk, cheese, yogurt, these things provide your body with calcium. Next, headache. And you must remember that the H by the end of this word is silent. It's headache. What do we mean by headache? It's a, a pain that you feel in your head. Headache, head ache, headache. You feel pain in your head. Next, we have some verbs. The first verb is damage. Damage means not working well or broken, like if someone had an accident and his car got damaged. Or if you step over a toy and it was broken into pieces, this means that it was damaged. Next, breakdown. To break down means to divide into smaller pieces. And as you remember, we used the word breakdown to talk about the food when it comes into your stomach. The, your stomach breaks down the food, which means it divide it into smaller pieces to be easily digested. Next, preserve. Preserve means to save or to keep. To save or to keep. Preserve uh, like the juice. You know when you drink the juice in a carton? This juice must be preserved or must have, must have some preserving uh, things to keep it in a good condition or it can be drank for a longer time okay to preserve keep or save next we have some adjectives the first two adjectives are word and an anxious word and anxious word and anxious they have the same meaning as you can see in the synonym in front of them word means Anxious and anxious, anxious means worried, worried, anxious. The opposite of them is calm or relaxed. You don't feel um, worried about something or afraid that something wrong happens. Okay, this is worried or anxious. Next, confused. What do we mean by confused? Puzzled. What do we mean by puzzled? You don't know what to do. You are confused. You are thinking and you have many ideas in, in your brain, but you don't know which one is the correct one. And the opposite of it is to be certain or sure. To be sure that this is the idea that you are going to follow. Next, we have healthy. To be healthy means to be well and strong. 
and the opposite of it is unhealthy. Next, we have tired. What do we mean by tired? Someone who is exhausted, who can't do anything, doesn't have any energy to uh, finish or do his or her work. The opposite of it is energetic. What do we mean by energetic? Someone who is active and he uh, has the energy to finish everything. Now, let's answer the classwork together. Choose the correct answer. Don't eat much sweets. They have many and you will gain weight. Sweets and you will gain weight. As I told you, what may give us excess weight or extra weight? Yes, the calories. Number two, the car is totally after the accident. When somebody does an accident, the car would be preserved or damaged. Yes, damaged. That's correct. Number three, I suffer from a severe, I need a pain reliever. What do we suffer and we feel pain? Calcium or headache? Yes, headache. Dairy products like milk, cheese, and eggs contain which our bodies need for growth. What do they contain? Dairy products? Yes, they contain calcium that is important for our bones number five water is full of so you must drink it every day as i told you water is full of minerals yes next <clears throat> match a word with its synonym same meaning and antonym which is the opposite of it word means anxious yes and anxious means word as you can see confused puzzled you don't know what to do healthy we feel well tired exhausted the opposite or the antonym worried relaxed or calm both are correct and here anxious calm or relaxed confused you don't know what to do? Sure. Healthy. Antonym. Opposite. Unhealthy. Tired. You don't feel well. Energetic. Next. Let's choose the correct answer. There are lots of and 
in fruits. Fruits are healthy, so they are full of vitamins and fibers. Yes, healthy things. Number two, water is good for your body. Temperature, yes, it is good for your body temperature because when you lose water as sweat, it cools down your body and your skin. Number three, our helps us move. Our joints, the joints, the join, the bones together, they help us move. Fish and meat provide us with the we need. They give us protein, yes. Mom always uses the to measure the weight, the food weight. To measure the food weight, we use the balance that we put it to know the weight of things or of people. Use words from the box to complete the following sentences. Carbohydrates, preserve, calcium, energy, healthy, and sweat. Number one, we can add salt to food to preserve it. Yes, to keep it safe. Number two, we lose water when we, how do we lose water from our body? When we sweat, that's correct. Gives us energy. What gives us energy? Carbohydrates. Number four, dairy food has, that is good for our bones. Remember, What's good for our bones? Calcium. Number five, we need to eat food. We need to eat healthy food because it gives us energy. That's correct, because it gives us energy. That's it for today. I hope you like it. Thank you so much.